Welcome to Sherway English. In today's video, we are going to talk about essay templates. More specifically, we will learn the right way to use these essay templates. Everyone loves to use essay templates and a lot of people think that they can get a high score simply by using this or that template. But that's not possible if you don't use those templates the right way. And that is what I'll teach you in today's video. Before we go ahead, remember that you can find related study materials in the video description. So make sure to check the video description. You'll find other useful study materials in that. Now, templates, they are helpful, definitely, especially for those who struggle with the structure, who struggle with how to organize their essay response. For those people, templates, they are very helpful, but they can also make you lose marks. If you are not careful about the way you are using these templates, if you don't use these templates properly, you can also end up losing your marks. So yes, they can be helpful, but only if you use them in the right way. And now I'm going to make five suggestions. I will give you five guidelines that if you follow, you will make the most out of these essay templates. First, identify the question type and then pick the right template for it. So don't just take one template and try to use it everywhere. For different types of questions, you need a different type of template. So the very first step should be that you read the question, you read the essay prompt, and you figure out what is the question type. Whether this is an advantages, disadvantages, pros and cons, what kind of question, essay question this is. And then that should be your first step. And then based upon that, you pick the right template. Second, you should not depend on just one or two templates. You need to have a number of different templates. One reason is that you need to have at least one template for each essay type that can come in PTE exam. And the second reason is that if you have different templates, you are, you know, you are able to make your response a bit more diverse. All your essays, they don't look the same. And you can also mix and match parts of different templates. So that is why you should try to prepare at least two templates for each essay type. In our PTE premium course, we discuss the various essay types and then we discuss what are the templates that can be used for those essay types. The third suggestion that I have for you is once you have obtained an essay template, you know, from wherever, make your own variations of that template. Take those templates and make some changes to those templates. Add some words from your own, replace some words, change the sentence structures a bit. So make them your own. Why? One, this will give you the confidence to use them properly in the essay. And secondly, you know, this will make uh, your responses much more diverse. Right. So let's say you take a template uh, and advantages, disadvantages as a template, and then you create three or four different variations. Then in the exam, you know, you can take some elements from each variation. You can mix and match. OK, or. You can make your this way, you can make your essay response look very unique. So that's why always try to make your own variations of these essay templates. The next suggestion, and this is very important, only use the essay template if you are very confident. I have seen a lot of responses, you know, students, test takers, they try to fit the essay prompt somehow into that template. And while doing that, they just mess up the whole response. They disturb the sentence structures, you know, their essays, they come up, you know, almost uh, nonsensical. So you should not do that. You should only use 
uh, the template if you are confident that you are using it the right way. When you are filling in the template, the sentences, they should sound proper. You should not end up making a lot of grammar mistakes. They should sound logical. So, if you are not confident, then it is better that you try to write the essay from your own rather than depending upon a template. So that's where, you know, understanding the template is more important than just memorizing the template. Don't just think you will memorize a template and then replace the words in the exam and it will all be fine. You should understand the template, what's the meaning, what's the purpose of each sentence, each word in that template. And then you can use it confidently. The last suggestion that I have for you is that you should aim to write an essay which is as unique as possible. Not just because the software you know might penalize you if your essay is not unique. I don't think it does that. But if you write a unique essay, you are able to address the essay prompt much more efficiently. So what you can do is instead of using the whole template, you can use parts of a template and then fill in something from your own end. That way you have a very unique essay which is addressing the essay prompt 100%. This obviously takes some effort. This is not very simple, but if you are aiming for a score of 79 plus, then you should be open to doing this. You should be willing to put in this effort. All right, so those are the recommendations I have for you, the guidelines I have for you. Follow these, keep these in mind if you want to get a high score using an essay template. All right, make sure you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Check out the sureenglish.com website. The details, you'll find them in the video description. All the best. I'll see you very soon in the next PTE video.